dramatic high seas case lost these several minutes. Satan made futile attempts to outpace a faster boat, hoping to navigate the reefs controlled by the China. Her fish stocks are more plentiful. Here is more information. The incidents occurred during the presence of AFP journalists aboard the Philippine Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources ships BRP Datu Bengkau, which was on mission to deliver essential supplies to Filipino fishermen working tirelessly in discontested waters for weeks at a time. The Filipino fishermen lamented the China sections that scarbor rock shoal were not only robbing them of a crucial income source but also a safe shelter during storms. Despite the chase and confrontations, the Tom, a 54 year old fisherman, stood defiant, expressing his determination to access the shoal. Under the United Nations Conventions on the Law of the Sea, countries have jurisdictions over natural resources within approximately 200 nautical miles of their coastline. However, China's claim to almost the entire South China Sea led to tensions, and it ceased restricting Filipino access. During the recent missions, the Philippine Coast Guard and Fisheries Bureau accused the Chinese Coast Guard of placing a 300 meters floating barrier at the shoal entrance, further hindering Filipino fishing activities. Despite China's warning and orders to leave, the BRP Datubang Kao crew remains under terror, providing vital supplies to the Filipino fishermen. The situation highlights the challenges faced by Filipino fishermen who spent extended periods at the sea to sustain their livelihood exacerbated by China's control of the show. The fishermen yearns the return of their access to scalp rock souls, which they view as rightfully theirs. <laughs>